Okay, this is the uh, April 16th meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. It's uh, 6 o'clock. We'll start the meeting. Uh, first order of, uh, uh, first item is, um, I'll let everybody know that uh, Frontier Community Access Television is taping this meeting for viewing by our residents and the public. First item on the agenda, we have minutes for the April 8th meeting and the April 12th meeting. So I would uh, I would move to approve the minutes. This one, I guess one, the April 8th, um, talking about the hatch gift to the Open Space Committee. It wasn't a gift of a bench. It's a gift of two thousand dollars. It's up to the committee to get a bench for that money. But I don't know if that matters. That was the only okay minor clarification that I would make. Other than that, uh, would you really say the Open Space Committee intends to use the money for a yes. bench? Yes. They have Bob Compton agreed to make one or fabricate one for that price. So, okay, we will adjust the minutes accordingly. <laughs> okay, I'll second that motion. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Uh, okay, and then the uh, the minutes for uh, April the twelfth. I make a motion that we approve those minutes. Do I have a second? Yes. Yes. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Uh, okay. All right. Next item on the agenda, we have three warrants. We have a vendor warrant for one hundred five thousand four hundred twenty-one dollars, a payroll warrant for one hundred fourteen thousand one dollar, and a payroll deduction warrant of twenty-eight thousand six hundred sixty dollars. I'll make a motion that we accept those warrants. Do I yes. have a second? I second. I agree. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Okay. Meetings attended by select board members. Phil, what do we got? Well, aside from the afternoon spent with the fire department of Conway and the police department of Conway rescuing my dog, thank you very much. That counts as a meeting. Uh, uh, I did. Uh, I, I, I have been communicating with our state representative this week, Natalie Blaze, um, uh, about our school, uh, about our municipal finance situation with the school budget, um, and it did result in a dinner invitation for Thursday. Um, She's taken me to have dinner with the, the chairs of the Joint uh, Education Committee, Senator Jason Lewis and Representative Alice Peisch um, in okay. Northampton Thursday. Good. That's so, this Thursday. So I'm putting yes. together a presentation to give to them. It's an informal setting. Good. So, okay. Um, Terrific. Okay. Uh, last week I had an MMA board meeting uh, with Tom. With Tom. Yeah. Yeah. I had an a local government advisory uh, commission meeting, and I had a Massachusetts Selectmen's Association board meeting. So those were my meetings last week. Uh, public comment. We don't have any public comment. Now we're down to old business. Town meeting and budget business. Tom? Uh, sort of three items under there. Um, I've included um, a cover page that I have that'll be uh, on the front of the warrant. I did that before, um, and uh, this one will actually be a, a legal size, like the rest of the warrant, to keep it cheaper. Um, and th these, you can you can read through it. I think I sent it back um, on uh, on Thursday, but it's it's things to help. Uh, clarify, you know, the, the sort of big picture. Um, and also the differences between um, the preliminary budget and the final budget, just to make sure people understand that there are changes that happen to that okay. uh, original document. And, and so these are the uh, major ones there. And uh, so that's, I think, something to sort of help frame the the warrant. And then I also, um, it's posted to the web, the warrant, and I've also posted these notes and the Excel sheet, um, or at least <clears throat> kind of cuts off at free cash. This is the, this is the full Excel sheet, um, but I, uh, I did the other one in sort of portrait orientation and um, just up to the to the free cash column, and this is, I believe, a final version, which kind of cleans up the the chart with things that are no longer money articles, and 
uh, which kind of draws out the charts at the bottom for the estimated tax rate and uh, estimated excess levy capacity. Mm -hmm. um, so no real new information, but cleaned up. And uh, so, so the uh, the cover sheet, the warrant, and the and the Excel sheet, which gives the sources of funding for all of the um, the money articles, uh, is up on the web. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Um, and then I I. This refers people to the budget, which is also on the web for the sources of funding, and explains the differences between those. So, between all of those, I think people will be as informed as they want to be. And so, then, um, so I have tonight a draft of the of the motions, which is really um, just identifying the sources of funding for things. Um, what kind of votes that they take? Um, uh, two thirds vote, or you know, mm -hmm. it doesn't say anything. It's just a majority, majority. vote. Mm -hmm. um, so anything moving out of a capital stabilization account requires a two thirds, two -thirds. vote. Yeah. As of last year, moving things into a capital stabilization account no longer requires a two thirds vote, which is great. Majority, yeah. Easy to put things in. Um, no bills from a prior year anymore, which is a nine-tenths vote. Right. Um, the, uh, of course, the, uh, the motion for Article 3, the, the frontier borrowing, is uh, cleaned up right. as it was. Um, and I think that's all it is. I, uh, please do uh, read through them. I think I've gotten out all of the warrant language and it's all in motion language now. Yeah, yeah I've read through them. They look good. you have any questions on them, Phil? Um, just the one thing about the note that um, number four... Oh, the notes, yeah. Number four, paragraph three. So it's sort of, that's sort of right, but um, they're not requesting, we're not, not the school's not requesting that the capital stabilization account be built up anymore. And this year they're not requesting any funding for any capital projects, but in the future, if they right. if there's going to be capital projects and they're going to want to re request funding in that amount um, to keep that stabilization account at, at the same level. So I... Yeah, okay. Um, it is not requesting it, funds it, for capital it may projects be, this year. It may be too late. Yeah. But we'll we'll see. Yeah. Sorry. That's a uh, that's a good. What I meant was, they're no longer requesting funds this year. Yeah. Because yeah. they had been. We thought they were, and then now they're not. Yeah. So that's why that ended up that way. So. Good catch. Um, it, it has, this is is it too late? You think it's too late? it's too late? Yeah. It's it's already it's already in in process. Yeah. Um, which is good. The uh, I'll just mention the town report is also obviously being printed. Uh, that is going to be 98 pages this year. 98 just, pages? Just what under it? 100. What was it last year? Uh, it was in the 80s, I think. Did I think it, it was 88. Are there, year. do we give a word limit or a page limit for departments for their reports? Seriously. It's not that, that's not what's making it. So, okay. Um, it was all the, the minutes from the special town meeting and the. Because um, uh, last year, I mean, there's one department. I'm not going to. There's one department with a four hundred dollar annual budget that put twelve pages single space into our town report last year, and I just thought, you know, it was pretty wordy. Maybe they a, did an awful lot for four hundred dollars. I guess so. <laughs> by the if you pay by the word, they for sure did. <laughs> uh. So, yeah, that's, um, okay, looking good. That's what I have. Uh, yeah, again, uh, any, any more attention that anybody can, can give to these, the better. Um, any more feedback on the chart? Yeah. Uh, that's good because those things can be, they are not yet uh, cast in stone. Yeah, okay. All right, thank you, Tom.
Okay, we don't have any new business. We have some items non anticipated 48 hours in advance. All right, letters to the Public Employees Committee. Tom, you want to just yeah, this what that um, is? this was necessitated after our after a meeting that I had after I had posted this meeting. Um, this is the first step in a health care plan change. It's taken almost verbatim from what I had last year, which is um, had the advice of council. Uh, I did add one thing this year, which is the number of members in, uh, in the health care plan. So for the letter to the teachers union, I say how many teachers are in the health care plan. For the letter to the instructional assistants, I say how many IAs are in the plan. For the retirees, I say how many retirees are in. And to the union president, I say both the teachers and the instructional assistants. Um, so they're, they're a little bit um, more refined than they were last year. <clears throat> so this <clears throat> then constitutes the committee that... Um, uh, will vote. Theoretically, they have 30 days to vote on it. I don't, I think they're going to be able to do it um, quickly because they all know what the plan is and are very familiar with the, I went over last Thursday the, uh, the new <coughs> proposals and mm -hmm. they're very familiar with them and um, seem willing to accept them. So I'm, I'm hoping that they can actually meet and, and vote. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And so, so this is, along with this, I will send the same materials that I sent the Insurance Advisory Committee, and they are the same people, uh, but that's the way the law works, so they'll get the whole proposal from the Hampshire County Group Insurance Trust, uh, along with some other information that I've gotten along the way, uh, comparable plans in the region, and um, uh, I think that's the only other, only other major piece mm -hmm. I have. Okay. All right. I'll make a motion that we sign these letters. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. And uh, if Bob is around tomorrow morning, ask him to come in and, and put his John Hancock on here as well. Sure. When it says hand delivery, who hand delivers them? I'm actually going to, uh, I've changed my mind. I, I would do that, but it's, um, I think I'm going to email it. Instead, it should say via electronic mail. Yeah, that's, we shouldn't sign it if it says hand-delivered, you're not hand-delivering it then. <clears throat> I'm sorry? Those say oh. hand-delivered. Yeah, it's true. Uh, hand-delivered. Hand <laughs> I, I, I can change it. I can take it over. I'm there regularly. Seriously. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, think that, I think they actually don't, don't want that. Um, I think they would rather have it. Um, that, that's an that's a excellent um, point. And I would just make a real quick change. Um, I think we just signed these for nothing, but that's okay. It's good exercise. Good wrist exercise. Another uh, another change from uh, last year. Then. My right, next item, we have a letter to. Um, the Speaker of the House, uh, the Honorable Robert DeLeo, concerning the uh, Community Preservation Act. We're asking them to increase the funding for it. Uh, Want to take a look at that? Boston a whole lot more than it helps us. Helps the city of Boston, city of Cambridge. Oh, of course. Of course. Next item is um, 
contract for um, the regional human resources community compact grant. Yeah, this is uh, um, $4,500 from the community compact to do a feasibility study for um, <clears throat> to identify various options that the towns might engage in to have some level of regional human resource. It's, uh, those are the, uh, the deliverables. And uh, that's the, the standard state contract. So can I ask you about so um, I remember talking to you about this and this is this seems to be exactly what we were, you were talking about but w what did I read about the FERCOG getting involved in this and the bit was this an article in the paper about this the Hampshire Council of Governments is involved the Franklin Council of Governments is involved we had um, participated before with a Franklin Regional Council of Governments initiative a kind of a preliminary discussion with someone from the Collins Center at UMass who does HR consulting. And uh, based on what the various towns in the entire region needed, uh, she didn't feel that it was feasible to go forward with the plan. Um, since then, talking regionally, it I think it makes more sense to go sub-regionally uh, to uh, towns generally have more similar interests that are closer together and you know these these four towns have more similar interests being able to uh, go through the school would allow us the possibility of suggesting the option that the person be housed at the school and the school you know, could use a, an HR person too, or at least part of one. So if we can share that, um, that would be good. So this will be a way to identify, you know, the various ways that might be um, divided up. And, and, you know, we should know how many staff it takes, if it's one person or one and a half or two or something like that. We, that's what this is attempting to identify um, because Nobody out here has HR staff that are de dedicated to that purpose, and the field is complex enough and changes quickly enough so that um, my recommendation would certainly be to have somebody who has that as an area of expertise rather than relying on someone like me who has it as, a, as a, almost an afterthought with all of the other things. Well, I think that that's true of all the time. I mean, I, I know speaking um, with, with uh, th this came up in, a, in one of the committees that, um, at Frontier where the other selectmen from the other towns were in the room. And I remember asking the superintendent his opinion of this. And he, you know, ev everybody wants help in this area. All the towns do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he does, the, the school yeah. could yeah. use it too. The difficulty is sort of figuring, because the school stuff is, apples and oranges compared with the municipal stuff and um, uh, actually figuring out, you know, 16% where we're, how do you get six, that's half of one day a week to this town. And it's just, um, if, if, you know, whatever, those are just difficult well, things to work out yeah, yeah. for and one person. You know, and, and, and typically we don't have a lot of needs. We, we've, we've recently redone our job descriptions. We, we have a classification plan. We don't yet have a, a, a formal compensation plan. We, we get by on how mm -hmm. we've done it before. Um, we do need um, some assistance on forms and training. Um, it, but this is, this is all stuff that this, that this study will, will lay out line by line. Yep. This is what you need. This is what it'll take you to get there. Mm -hmm. So that's what... That's what the purpose and, of this is. And I know is. one of one of the real difficulties is, and just is just to begin to get your mind, is um, it's it's really problematic for for the schools 
when they share an employee amongst, even right now, amongst different schools, amongst the two different, because uh, the employee with, the, the, there's, every employee is, the, every town treats their employees differently with, uh, you know, deductibles, co-pays, all that stuff, and um, it, uh, it's, it's administratively very difficult already when they work for multiple towns at the same time, and it's very disfavored. We're, we're constantly being told to like work it out so that every town has their own employees and they're not sharing employees because of how difficult it is from the record keeping human resources part of the, the deal. Um, uh, I'm so, not saying that it would be without challenges. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yet another reason to uh, figure out different ways that it might be done. And not all the towns are as well run as our town. That's all I'll say about that. Yeah. All right. But I'll make a motion that we uh, sign this contract for study to look into regional human resource uh, assets. I'll second. Like a second. Yes. All in favor? When are you going to find something? When do they? When when they have to let you know whether you get the grant or not? No, we we got it. This you is got it. Oh, oh, good. <clears throat> Tom, do you have an update? For us? Yes, I do. Okay. Is this for us to? Is he, uh, are these the ones to sign for the? Yes. Yeah. The other one. Yep. The other ones to sign. Yeah. Thanks for catching that. Committee and Board News. The Board of, Assess of Assessors has sent a memo notifying the Select Board, Treasurer, Accountant, and Finance Committee that they have voted to transfer $10,000 from the Overlay Reserve account to the Overlay Surplus account. What does that mean? This is how the motions for the two Assessors article articles reads. Read. Um, they reserve money to pay for abatements and exemptions. And people then apply for abatements and exemptions. And usually there's money left over that people don't apply for that they have reserved. And then that money uh, is like their own free cash. So if they, they then decide that it's surplus money and once it goes into the surplus account, town meeting can vote to use it for a purpose. And so the purposes that we're proposing to use it for are the recertification of property and the conversion of their software. So we're sort of feeding it back to the assessors. But it has to go through town meeting and it has to go from the reserve account to the overlay surplus account first. So they have voted the, that transfer, and so it is now free for town meeting to vote the way we have planned them to vote. So the motions that we that I've proposed are good. Uh, last year, as an example of why you don't want to make the articles too um, narrow, last year, um, for one reason or another, they didn't get around to uh, making that transfer, and we made it from free cash instead. So um, that's an example of the kind of flexibility that uh, is handy, useful. Um, I sent the charge to the Capital Improvements Planning Committee to the chair, noting that I had found someone willing and able to take on Capital Improvements Planning, uh, which he had indicated to me he did not feel the committee was ready for. Uh, so we do have somebody who is ready for it. Um, he has requested to come in and meet with the select board, and I put him on the agenda for next week. Okay. Uh, Conway Youth Sports under Parks, Recreation, and Trail under the Parks, Recreation, and Trails Committee has developed a field use policy they're incorporating into their general policies. 
I'd like to forward it to you both so you can see their work and so you can have an idea how they're managing the use of the field. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's necessarily any reason to discuss it, but um, yeah. that's just a little heads up that they have that now uh, to prevent conflicts of use of the field uh, to get, it, it, it's still first come first serve more or less, but uh, uh, there is a, a policy now, a written policy which people can follow yeah. up and fall back on if necessary. Uh, in departmental news, as I mentioned, I met with the Insurance Advisory Committee Thursday, composed of representatives to the Teachers Union, the Instructional Assistance Union, the Union 38 President, and retirees. They seem willing to support the changes to the Hampshire County Group Insurance Trust's plan. The next step is the um, next steps are the formal constitution of the Public Employees Committee and their communication of the plan to their respective memberships. And their respective memberships have a period of time to decide what they want to do with it and get back to us. Um, we, uh, we already know we've received the grant for the feasibility study because um, I was bold enough to ask you to sign it this evening. Um, uh, I am uh, just a few more notes on the town report. Uh, I'm pleased to report that the FY 2018 town report is shaping up to be the most complete ever at just under 100 pages, though as usual several committees did not submit FY 18 reports, including the Capital Improvements Planning Committee, uh, which we have noted. We are making small changes each year. I'm not sure they did um, a lot of work in FY18, but in any case, we didn't get anything about their 18 efforts. Um, we're making small changes each year that should result in more useful, better looking, and easier reading reports. This year, we have introduced small breaks, wingdings is the technical term, <laughs> between each departmental report for ease of scanning. Okay. And you see a little graphic, um, yeah. very simple. It is still in a relatively small print to keep down the number of pages and therefore cost, but the sensory font should make it as easy to read as possible. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Select board comments. Phil, do you have any comments? Um, just that I was surprised today that um, to receive multiple comments on the electricity aggregation plan of the town and questions and Sure. At the at the uh, the bank, the whole room turned and asked questions, and mm -hmm. um, who did who to thunk? Yeah. And good. I, I felt like I was actually able to coherently answer their questions to good. their satisfaction. Okay. Um, All right. So I've been, I've been. Uh, so yeah, that's 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 my comments for the day. Okay. Uh, mail. Let's see. We have got mail from. Um, Frontier Regional School, from the principal, Mr. Lenides. Is yep. it Lenides? George. Lenides. Lenides. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Ben. Lenides. Okay. Uh, and he's inviting us to um, the class night on June 5th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium, and graduation on Friday, June 7th at 7 p.m. on the football field, weather permitting. So that's. Anybody yes, my daughter will be graduating, but uh, and, and I had the opportunity, I was given the invitation to be up on stage and present her the diploma, but uh, she has begged me not to do that. So. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's not about you, Dad. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know. They uh, take all the fun away. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, we have any announcements other than what we've already done? No, I don't think so. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so if we have no more uh, business to come before the board tonight, uh, our next meeting will be um, the 22nd, next Monday night here in the town offices, and I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. Bill, I'll second. Yes. All in favor? Yes. Okay.